yo, 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 it's your boy J1, King1804 Podcast. I know the streets and the streets know me. First thing first, man, hit that bell for all updated content. Like and subscribe and stay tuned for the hottest and first up information in this hip hop sector. Yeah. Yo, 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 it's your boy J1, King1804. I know the streets and the streets know me. Two years after he was arrested for his connection to gang related crimes in the racketeering case, Casanova has received his prison sentence. The Brooklyn native rapper who was facing up to 60 years in prison on Tuesday was sentenced to 188 months, which is 15 years and six months behind bars. Damon Williams, the United States Attorney for the Southern District of New York, made the announcement today in a press release. The U.S. District Judge Phillips sentencing was for Casanova racketeering and narcotics offenses. U.S. Attorney Williams said Caswell is not just a notorious recording artist, but he is also a high profile leader of the street gang and a magnet for gang violence. At a crowded Miami house party, Caswell personally fired a gun that seriously injured and could have killed a victim, inciting a shootout. Further, Casanova statue in the community was essential to the Gorilla Stones' successful recruitment and nationwide expansion. Today's sentencing, along with others, have been imposed in this case, shows once again that gang life is not worth it and will lead to many years in prison. Back in July, Casanova pleaded guilty to racketeering and narcotics offense and connected with his leadership role in the untouchable Gorilla Stone Nation Blood Gang. As part of his guilty plea, the 36-year-old rapper pled guilty and left his fate to the judge. He played a major role in July 2020 Florida shooting and New York City robbery in 2018, while also admitting he trafficked over 100 kilograms of marijuana. Cass was one of 18 alleged gang members who were indicted in December 2020. Yo, this is horrible. Real talk. Casanova is in a cell right now holding his head because he know it's all over. He tried to fight a good fight, but the evidence was too strong against him. You have to understand, when the feds come against you with a racketeering, it's almost impossible to beat it, man. That's why they came up with the racketeering, to take down the mob. You can't beat a racketeering case. It's too many individuals, it's too many moving parts. You all are bundled up on all the charges. You ain't have to personally commit a murder. You ain't have to personally transport dope. But if anyone in the racketeering case you with did it, that means you all did it. That means you all knew about it because it's organized crime. And Casanova made it out of his situation at a point of time because he went to prison early for, for miscellaneous charges, robberies and such. And he found a way to do his time and come out with no smud on his name. 
and he tried to change his life and he started rapping. And I ain't gonna lie, he wasn't one of the best rappers. He ain't really had to stick out like that. But he was so well connected in New York, he had no choice but to blow. His name rang bells. So it opened a lot of doors. It gave him a lot of opportunities to take it to the next level. But this is the old story. Your past catching up to you. See, everything he did in the past, representing the Gorilla Stone gang, came back to haunt him. Yeah, he got on the rap scene. He started rubbing shoulders with stars. He was at the Rock Nation brunch with Jay-Z, Tata and them. But he also was in the streets living a dirty life. And they came back to bite him in the ass. So now, Cash just been sitting for over two and a half years and finally got his sentence. And he took a 15 year plea home. And remember, this is a racketeering case in the feds where you have to do 85%. So the earliest Casanova could get out is 2035. He's already 36 years old, homie. Listen, man, I'm an OG. And everybody could sit here and tell you, man, yeah, I could do the time, I could do this, do that. Only when you're when you're damn near 40 years old, having to go back to stand in a child line, sleeping on a hard ass bunk, leaving the comfortability of your house, your king size bed, your old lady, your children, it hit a little different. Cass lost everything trying to rep a game that ain't give him nothing. He made it on his own through music. All the gang life ever gave him was in and out of prison. They sucked him dry, chewed him up, and spit him out. So all you young niggas out here, man, think twice. Think about everything you do. Because any decision you make could haunt you for the rest of your life. And I get it. We all stand up guys. And if you got the time, you got to do it with your head up. But the point is not to get the time. Avoid it. Make better decisions. Calculate every move. Remember, it's red wine over fair time. I just seen a, a week ago, Casanova wife was in the yacht party on a boat with a new dude. Cause she already knew he was getting a 15 year bid. And she letting it be known, she not waiting for kid. He already ran up a bag. He bought a big house. He had a Bentley, a Rolls Royce. He got a YouTube channel doing numbers. He got Spotify plays. Who you think in control of all the money right now? Real talk. So now she gonna move on with her life with the new dude, take the little bread he ran up and go do some more BBLs. And you know how that go. While Cass is stuck in a cell for the next 15 years of his life. And he tried everything. He ain't snitch. But he wrote a letter to the judge. Talking about he done with the gang life. He denounced him and you know he begging for mercy. The white folks don't care about that. When they got you, they got you. They gonna send you up that road. Go get big. Go work out. Go read books. Go find Allah. And they gonna go right back home like it was nothing. They ain't even gonna think twice about the time they gave you. Real talk. I wasn't a big fan of Cass. 
you know, his music didn't relate to me. You know, he was a New York dude. But I understand his situation. I understand where he coming from. And I've seen it too many times. The minute you run up some money, you start living a good life, the feds come and grab you and say, come here. So to all the real niggas around the world, take this as a lesson. Always choose red wine over fear time. Or end up like Cass. Yeah, this your boy J1, King 1804. I know the streets and the streets know me.